my sweet friend so i finally finished my italian sketchbooks and i wanted to show you how um how filled up they look now <laughs> compared to before but i so i decided to um i had very big ambitions of doing four sketchbooks while i was traveling but i only got to do two so one of these is kind of like all kinds of subject matters and then the second one was strictly landscapes or like cityscapes and that was just my challenge to try to do more of those because I find those a little bit intimidating. So um, I wanted to show you my process as far as like I uh, usually would just take lots of photos as I was experiencing Italy, Tuscany, that's where we visited for a couple of weeks and um, I worked a lot from reference. There were a couple of sketches, like this one I did on location. Um, and I think the poppies too, there were tons of poppies all over. So um, that was kind of like a special moment to experience those flowers. And then I just try to kind of capture the different like things I would see, like pigeons, um, lots of like coffee shops and at first, I kind of was like, oh, I'll do some like cityscapes here. And then eventually I decided to, to do a whole another sketchbook of those. So, and I wanted to show you like at the beginning, I wasn't quite sure where I was headed. I just wanted to maintain a sketchbook while I was traveling. And that's why I like even tried, you know, um, with just ink and then a brush pen with like wider lines. Um, just I was just trying to experiment and see like what kind of felt best. Uh, and then eventually I came to really enjoy working with these, um, these pen uh, not pencils that have like several colors in them. Um, and I just like really loved using them for little details, uh, adding like some outlines to shapes. Uh, and eventually I kind of like really started enjoying the style. So I typically don't like pencil and I still don't because like just using a regular pencil is kind of boring to me. And also if you do use one, it's, um, you're more likely to start like erasing things and overthinking it. Whereas if you sketch with one of these, you, it's kind of harder to erase because there's like color involved. So you can't completely erase it. So therefore it kind of acts as another way of like just adding color right away and then um, I'll either like sketch it out and then add watercolor or I'll do watercolor first and then add little details uh, with kind of like outline and enhance or emphasize some of the lines or the edges and I had a lot of fun there are tons of cats in this uh, small town in Tuscany Vico Pisano that's where we were and Honestly, my favorite part was probably the food and also seeing so many cats there because it was a small town. It was like very introvert friendly. <laughs> um, and then another thing I wanted to also challenge myself is to um, sketch people and like people like body shapes and stuff. And um, I did work like I would take I took lots of photos of just people out in the street and um, I did work off of like photo references once I was home. But it was just like, one thing I would say like, um, you know, if you wanna maintain a sketchbook while you're traveling, definitely like have to be intentional with it, you know, make time. But if you can't paint right away, so I actually, you know, it took me, let's see, um, about two months after we got back to finish up the sketchbook. So. I did a few of these sketches while I was in Tuscany, but most of these I did just in my kind of spare time while when I got back home. And it was really fun to kind of w go through all the photos that I took and find different snippets and moments of what I wanted to kind of remember and include in my sketchbooks. And so you'll see here like a lot, lot I use a lot of this like kind of style pencil and then the watercolor. Um, and 
just wanted to like really experiment with like very playful colors i think this is my favorite one so let me show you i bought several of these once i got home after italy and i think my favorite my favorite one is this neon kind of um magic pencil because it has like so many fun colors if you take a look um and that's how what you see here is like these neon colors and outlines really pop um so i was like really you know into that look and um yeah was just trying to kind of experiment with different styles and techniques and eventually kind of landed on this style of like including you know including these pencil outlines or sketches and then adding of course watercolors um so that's pretty much it for this one let's see yeah i did finish it all up so um and then for the landscape one um i also first was like i don't know what i'm doing you know i wanted to just do very minimalist kind of brush strokes um so you can see me trying that here and then i was like oh there's some flowers more poppies of course tons of poppies everywhere um and then i started also incorporating some of the the pencil the these fun pencil marks in here and i really enjoyed the style too so I was just having fun with it because I'm not, um, I don't paint a lot of landscapes. So this was very much experimental and I was trying to keep it very simple, like trying to break down um, whatever I'm seeing like into very simple shapes. And uh, one thing I wanted to mention too is I was really inspired by um, my, one of my favorite artists, Onmar Wind. She, um, shared this practice of kind of adding color to your pages first and then painting something on top so i'll show you in a bit where i use that technique so this is one of those where i first just added some very random washes um just basically like sp sprayed or like you know tap the brush so that the the paint would flicker and <laughs> kind of cover it up with different splatters and then allowed it to dry and then I would sketch on top. Um, so I was really inspired by her, her using that technique and I wanted to use it too and I, I found that it's very uh, fun and kind of playful because um, it also takes the pressure away from like a blank page uh, which I found that very nice because it's like already got some texture going on and you, you're just going in and kind of filling some things in however you know however it works for you um here i did use some washi tape which i kind of liked because it created like very nice edges um so that's a fun thing to consider if you're doing a, a like a sketchbook spread and you want to separate it into a couple of parts you can do that so this is kind of like what i'm talking about the, the prepped page um i didn't get to do anything on here but um basically yeah i was just like trying to make it super loose and playful and like stress-free because i know i know some of these like need some more more work you know the perspective might be a little off but that wasn't you know i w i didn't care like i just wanted to have fun and practice and just make some lines and honestly it's super meditative to like get lost and trying to capture some of these like buildings with the windows there's a lot of repetitive lines and whenever you do that it just really helps you disconnect from your thoughts and your worries and, and just focus on on the paper in front of you so there's a few more of these these this is kind of um i will say this is pretty wild in, in terms of like a background because um there's so many vivid colors so it'd be kind of harder to add a sketch on top of that um, so definitely would recommend you know if you want to try this technique is um, I'll, I'll link to Omar's video too but she she definitely walks through the process of like doing something more 
kind of like washed up so more water versus color I definitely use lots of lots more color here as opposed to you know more water and less color here so that way it looks lighter and then when you add some lines on top um, you can clearly see them um, and I guess like my last note on the choice of sketchbook so I used the Stillman and Burn Alpha series and I was very intentional with picking out my sketchbook and I did test it out first um, I wanted it to be light it's a little bit heavier now because of all the <laughs> paints and like wrinkled paper but I like that the um, it's soft cover, which was, um, you know, it, it decreases the weight of the sketchbook. And if you're traveling, I don't know about you, but I hate <laughs> carrying heavy bags or backpacks. And so that was kind of like my thinking behind that. And the paper is not, you know, the thickest of watercolor papers, but I like it that it still takes like plenty of washes. You can still add layers and really have fun with it. So... I was very happy with this type of like the paper and the sketchbook and the size too. I think they come in other sizes as well, um, but I found like this format worked really well for me. So that's pretty much it for my sketchbook tour. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.